The North Texas medical community, in fact, and some elected officials hoping that you're going to make smart choices for Thanksgiving tomorrow and through the weekend. Our Caroline Vandergriff talked to some of them tonight about that subject. Across the Metroplex, COVID-19 cases and hospitalizations are increasing. So if we throw a whole lot more tinder on this fire, we're definitely uh, going to shoot up even faster and even more. The chief medical officer at Parkland Hospital says current data shows about 13% of people testing positive for COVID are asymptomatic and unknowingly spreading the virus. So what that means is one out of eight uh, are going to be are going to be carrying around COVID. So if your group is 15 or 20 people, I mean, you can pretty much guarantee you're going to have somebody in there who has COVID and is asymptomatic and spreading. That's why medical experts are encouraging people to opt out of Thanksgiving dinners with people who live outside their home, as tough as it may be. I really think at this point we could see there's light at the end of the tunnel and we just have to hang in there um, it's in the big scope of our lives for just a little bit longer um, to really help protect ourselves, our families, and everyone around us. If not, the consequences could be dire. We're already in a pretty uh, critical place. Are you worried what we could possibly see in the weeks to come following this holiday? You know, I am. Right now, our healthcare heroes are exhausted, and uh, we're, we're right. Uh, at our peaks of what we've ever seen before in both our ICU beds and our uh, COVID beds. We will get to our uh, full point, we'll get to our breaking point, and then we turn into another El Paso or New York, and that's not going to be a good situation. They say everyone has to do their part to make sure Thanksgiving doesn't become a super spreader event. Utilize curbside grocery store pickup to avoid crowds, hang out with loved ones outdoors if you're set on meeting up, and wear your mask. It's going to be a smaller Thanksgiving, but we still got a lot to be thankful for. Caroline Vandergriff, CBS 11 News.